found this, uh, actually the neighbor found this guy. Us Americans, we know what this is. Good old crayfish. And uh, over here in Netherlands, this is an American crayfish. This is an invasive species here in Netherlands. But uh, I don't eat crayfish, so I'm gonna put him back in the water because that's where you belong. He was right up at some guy's front door for some reason. So we'll put this crayfish, but look how beautiful he is, huh? What a beauty. If you hold them just right, they can't get you. In principle, <laughs> I hear it's the swans most of the time here. So we'll let them go in the water here. The uh, herons love to eat them. Uh, the great grub is eat them too. Now. There you go, young man. Beautiful creature. Beautiful. Now here's feels my uh, walking or whatever. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you're a healthy one. Well, let him be. I don't know what he's trying to do. Now, just to give you an idea about the crayfish, uh, they're really, um, as, as I said, an invasive species. Now, I might love them, but they don't actually really belong in the Netherlands. On the other hand, yeah, what belongs where? I mean, you know, wind, sea, things uh, change. So in any event, some 80,000 are caught, but crayfish are winning in Dutch waters. Over eight, And this is, by the way, from Dutch News, uh, .nl. Over 80,000 American crayfish have been netted in waterways in Krimpervard, so just in one place near Gouda, you know, the cheese, in a failed attempt to limit their number. The crayfish, Procomberus clarki, or red swamp crayfish, are thought to have traveled from their native United States in the ballast tanks of large freighters and are well adapted to local waterways. This has been going on for years, this slow invasion, as it were. They are particularly common in Utrecht, North Holland, and South Holland, where we are in, here in South Holland. First spotted in Dutch waters in 1985 and without any natural enemies. That's not true. I've seen a uh, foot, uh, uh, what do you call them? Great Greba eat one. I have a video on that. I'll try to link it below. Here's the Greba. Also, to uh, look at that. The mother or father gave it to one of the young youngsters here as well. And I've definitely seen um, herons eat them. Matter of fact, a heron was feeding it to the chicks. Got a video of that too. See below. Now here you see the heron chicks eating the crawfish. Now it's in about the middle of the video, but watch this. She's going to regurgitate it 
and uh, she already regurgitated a bit of it. You see this this young fella chomping down on it, but watch what comes out. See him? See how they flew up there? There. You see there's his, uh, his, his claw and there's the crayfish. So they do have You see him eating some of the. You see him fighting over it. You can see clearly it's a crawfish right there. Anyway, I'll put the links to the videos down below. You can watch the full videos. Uh, and without natural enemies, crayfish numbers are now thought to be running into billions. Wow, that's a lot of crayfish. That's a lot of crawdads. Their presence is said to be a threat to water, flora, and fauna. And they're also damaging to riverbanks. Well, you saw those eggs, they build uh, like little burrows and they put their eggs in there at a certain point when they hatch. The crayfish caught in Cripovarda were adults and had already procreated. So in that sense, the operation has been a failure. Local water authority spokesman Paula Cortevech told New Puntanel. However, the project was also a first step in an investigation to what is needed to solve the problem. Well, it's going to be very hard. The Cortevech said that it can only happen if there's a national plan similar to the approach taken to control muskrats. Totally different animal. Cortevex says said it would also help if no license were needed to catch crayfish for private consumption. They are they are kind of delicious, is what they say. They are already making their way to restaurants in great numbers. It's up to the government to enable a concerted effort to rid Dutch waters of the harmful invaders, she said. So that's why they call it an invasive species. Anyway, so I throw it in there. Have a great day. Take care.